Microphone check. One, two, three. Cheddar cheese in the place to be. Silver price report coming at you. Bringing you the daily price of real physical silver. It's Friday. We got to get straight into it. But first, quick announcement here. My beat tape, Electric Gremlin 4. It should be posted up on YouTube by Sunday evening. That's what I'm shooting for. If for some reason I do not get it up, I'm going to have it up next weekend. Right now is the tedious and boring part, which actually can, in some ways is difficult, uh, which is I have to convert all of the WAV files to MP4 so I can load them up to YouTube. The crappy part is that both YouTube and the MP4 version compress the audio file and he loses some fidelity. That's the part that I hate. I'm going to, over the next few months here, I'm going to be looking to expand. I think I am going to start doing Spotify and um, start moving to some other platforms as well to promote my music. It's I'm to the level now where I'm, I'm confident in my mixing and mastering skills, my production skills overall to kind of branch out a little bit. So let's get into it. This is for December 10th, 2021, priced in U.S. dollars. American Silver Eagle, $32.91. Canadian Maple Leaf, $28.01. One second here, I got to grab some notes. Austrian Philharmonic, $26.77. Private Mint, $26.15. Average Price, $28.68. Spot Price, about $22.14. Putting the premium at $6.54 over Spot. The premium has been flat since yesterday the average price is down six cents with the spot price down six cents as well uh, since yesterday which is interesting because the kitco spot chart according to that caught a bid up so i wonder maybe it could be the way that i collected the data since i did it uh, I, I got one at 5 a.m which is like down here I got another one at 3 p.m., which is in here somewhere. So I'm just, that's just kind of, it's kind of interesting. But at the same time, at the same time, I'm not using Kitco's numbers when I calculate the spot price. I'm using the spot price as it is advertised on the online dealers that I go to. So that could be some of the discrepancy there, too. That's just interesting. Another one of those weird things it's also weird that the spot price went up, but we saw the average price still come down. Actually, no, it's not. Um, because there are um, Provident Metals and JM Bullion both have... Uh, JM Bullion has sales on American Eagles. Provident Metals has sales on the Canadian Maple Leaf. And then um, the 2021 Austrian Philharmonics. Let me look at the, the last little numbers I caught. Yeah, uh, four of the online dealers that I look at are out of the 2021 Austrian Philharmonics. So I'm only getting three price points for that. So that could be interfering and in, in affecting the prices in, in some ways. But you know, it's the best I can do for you guys. So it's the most accurate I can get. All right, let's move on to the dollar-silver ratio. This is as of this recording. So this is 2.31 a.m. on December 11th. There are about $6,176 for every one ounce of monetary silver that is out here. That is up $12 for the week. That has been pretty much the average. So we're, we're the dollar to silver ratio is increasing roughly, actually about, thir- ah, tw- let's say $12 to $14 every week. But this is a clear sign of inflation. And and here we mean an increase in the supply of money. Now, let's move on to the CPI data, which came out today. 
This is from MSN News. Data released ahead of the stock market open on Wall Street showed November consensus price inflation rose. Now we're at 6.8% annually. Again, this is for November. No surprise to anybody that watches this show. No surprise to anybody that's buying precious metals. We already know what kind of environment we're in. We are in an inflationary environment. What I, I think is more of a stagflationary environment. But you guys know, money printing on the rise. Prices going up. Nobody working. You know what it is. It's not a surprise to anybody. But you know how we do on this show. Hopefully my face is not covering this up. Uh, this is the official CPI. Well, I don't say official. This is Shadow Stats CPI. The Shadow Stats uses the numbers from 1980. If so, if the government still used their old equations from 1980, this is what inflation would be. And right now, yeah, we're at pretty much 15 percent. If you look at this chart here, you go all the way back, you see we're back to 1981. And if my memory serves me correct, I believe Volcker, in order to fight fight inf fight inflation back then, wasn't it like 20 percent? That the Fed ended up raising their, their interest rate. The Fed funds rate hit 20% in order to fight it. Fed can't do that. Look, what, what did we get to? Barely 2% in 2018? And the market sold off? They ain't doing it, bro. They're going to kill the dollar. And we've talked about this here before. It's a race to the bottom. These cats, they're, they're going to print money. They ain't about to fight inflation. They're going to print money. They're going to kill fiat. They're going to try and move us over to a digital money. And the reason I don't think they're going to raise rates is because raising rates is going to pop the bubble and it becomes too easy to point the finger. It's very, very hard to point the finger at one thing when we start talking about price inflation, the rise in prices. Because you know right now the official narrative is supply chain disruptions. And so any issues... Um, going on in the economy can be hid behind the veil of supply chain disruptions so that's all i got for you guys tonight once again uh be on the lookout for electric gremlin 4 coming at you either this weekend or next weekend hopefully you found this helpful hopefully you can incorporate this into your analysis until next time peace out y'all have a good weekend